His character Henry usually gets into some sticky situations, but he can handle things just fine. You know, if you shoot, you'll attract security, and then no one gets the dagger. CW series Kung Fu, please welcome Mr. Eddie Lee. Good morning. Good morning. I'm super excited for so many reasons because I get to meet you. The, the series just got renewed for season two. And now that we know what's go that's going to happen, if your, your bosses that be behind the scenes say to you, hey, you have a choice. Let us know what direction you want to go with Nikki's character. What would you do? Ooh, I feel like we actually already have a little bit of that lane open to talk to our uh, producers and our creative team to drop a little. I don't want to say we're writing this. No, I'm like, I'm kidding. I, we, can't, <laughs> we can't. We can't write the show. That's that's not my job. But um, we just have a great creative team and they're so collaborative. So when we do have some ideas, they're absolutely all ears and, you know, are open to hearing it. All right, so uh, let's just talk about Henry and his skills, because we just saw like him kicking things into high gear. Is it safe to say that those karate martial art lessons as a kid came in handy, or did you have to relearn? Yeah, yeah, it came in handy. It's it's weird how life turns out. Um, I did it as a kid. I dabbled in it. My parents, uh, uh, you know, took my brother and sister and I to, to classes when we were younger, but I never really thought that I'd get to get paid to do it on camera. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm, I, it worked out pretty well. I'm just saying my parents should never took me to any classes. That's my excuse. Not that I, I don't have the acting talent. It's my, they never took me. Well, so you are delivering the hits in more ways than one. Not just with Kung Fu, you were just a Netflix Never Have I Ever. And in a Teen Vogue article, you said that you're ready to redefine Hollywood's leading man. So what have changed do you want to see? Oh, uh, look at you, leading man. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Get that guy out of there. Um, I think that we're so used to sticking to only what we see in the media. Um, typically, the the actors that we see, the actors and the actresses are usually a certain type, a certain look, a certain aesthetic. Um, and every so often, we got to chip away at that and break the mold and, uh, you know, shift the paradigm. Um, and if that means, you know, more people of color, more minorities, more sexual minorities, um, that opens up the gates for richer storytelling because we're including everyone into the conversation, everyone in the dialogue and showing that everyone can be and should be represented in the media. Eddie, I thought I loved you before. I love you even more now. What can I say? So I didn't even think it was possible. I love you back. All right, so let's go way, way back to school for your third, fourth, and fifth grades. Where did you go to Ooh, school yeah. for those classes? Where? Where did I go? I went to uh, uh, Burr Intermediate. Okay, so you know why I'm asking you about third, fourth, and fifth grades? Because of your perfect. Does it have my perfect attendance <laughs> record? <laughs> and I it's interesting, Eddie, how you go third, fourth, and fifth grade. What happens to sixth, seventh, and the rest? Well, at that point, when you do the three peat, I think that you've earned a little time <laughs> to retire. And, uh, uh, you know, I bask in my rings that, that, they, that they give you uh, for perfect attendance. So that's, that's really all that was. I was like, I think I'm going to take a little time with my family and think about what I want <laughs> for myself in the future. And here you are doing big things in Hollywood. And although you may have gone Hollywood, you're always going to be one of New York's very own. You were born in Queens, grew up on Long Island, went to Hofstra, studied acting in Manhattan. And by the way, I heard that you, your first acting thing was because your teacher in college suggested you for like a school film thing. Yeah, it was my sociology professor. So it wasn't even like I was in an acting class. She knew someone in a totally different department who uh, they were looking for uh, Asian actors for uh, a play. And I, at that point, I was already like dipping my toe in the water and thinking about maybe pursuing acting. But at the, at the time, it was still such a crazy uh, pipe dream to think about pursuing acting. Like, who does that? Like, go be an astronaut while you're at it. Um, <laughs> but, but I took a chance and, um, you know, I just sort of, sort of just followed my heart and um, 
the bug bit me, as and they say. And we're so happy you did. So do you still have any New York friends and family? Who's, who's still around that we can give a shout out to right now? Uh, my parents, my mom and dad. Ooh, uh, are yeah. they watching? I think so, or they will be. Once it's going to be recorded and all that stuff. Uh, I, I kind of, can I be honest, I forgot to tell people that I was doing this. You didn't tell people you were doing this? Mr. Eddie. I, you know, I was like, I got to just show up for work. I got to do my Here's thing. I'm so thing. used to going to work and not telling people I'm going to set because it's just like this thing that I've been doing all year for the show. Yeah. Uh, all right. All right, so we'll have you back again so you can tell them then, and then you can give them a message. It's, it can be like your, your, like your practice for when you win the Oscar so you can thank your mom and dad via the TV, and you can say we helped uh, you practice. Deal? I, that's very kind. That sounds great And to me. please tell Mr. Ty Ma that I said hi, and I'm still waiting for my party invitation, especially for season two. Thank you very much. You didn't get it yet? No, oh not my. yet. Ty, what? get Ty. At <laughs> Eddie, you are truly the best. Thank you so, so much. Welcome to our CW family. We're so happy to have you as a family member. You can't get rid of us now. That's a sad tr truth. Well, you can check out his smooth skills tonight at 8. Where? Right here on Pix11. Thank you so much, Eddie. We love you, and we are so proud. So, so proud. Thank you very much.